It's just like you talk to your best friend. Just be truthful. Just come from a place of sincerity. A place where you're actually sorry for who you've been and how you've lived and you want to change. And you can simply bow your hands and just say, to your most gracious and heavenly Father, I don't know you, but I want to. I pray, Lord, that you would change my heart. I pray, Lord, that you would help me to see you in everything, that you will walk with me and help me to feel your presence in this life that's been so hard. I pray that you will just take my hand and walk me through these, these things that have caused me to sin before. Lord, I don't want to live in opposition to you. I don't want to be rebelling against you. I want to be submissive to you. And I want you to have full authority and dominion in my life. I pray, Lord, that you will forgive me of my sins. And I pray that you will help me to forgive others just as your word says I must. I pray that you will help me to forgive everybody that I have any quarrel with, any situation. Lord, I pray that you would enter my heart as my Lord and my Savior, and that you will help me to know that you are there, that you would change the way that I think, that you would change my entire list of priorities in this life. Help me, Lord, that I would put you out there as first in everything. And Lord, I have no idea what happens next. I have no idea what you're doing, but I don't have to because you know exactly what you're doing. Help me to trust you and obey you. Help me to read your word and get to know you intimately. Lord, help me to fall on my knees and just seek you each and every day. And I pray that you will build a relationship between us and grow it into something amazing. I pray that you will help me to know you so deeply that all I ever want to do is continue to share you with everybody that I encounter in this life. Lord, I pray that your change would start right now. And it's in the name of Jesus that I pray and give all the thanks and glory and honor and praise. Amen. Amen. Anybody who prayed that tonight, anybody who prays that any night, any day from this point on, that means it in their heart, I believe by the word of God is sent. And those are the people we need to be praying for even when they denounce, even when they turn away and want no part of it. That it's hard. I've said this too. This is one of, one of the hardest things for me. This is conviction of myself. Is when God says, I want you to think of the one person that drives you nuts. And I want you to remember that I love them the same way that I love you. And you know what that does to your heart immediately? It causes you to feel conviction because you've kind of denounced that person. In some way, some, some form, you've said, you know what, I just, I don't care what they do, I just don't want to be around them. And God says, that's not exactly what I'm saying to you. And so we just have to trust him even in that situation. Thank you all for being here tonight. And if anybody wants to pray or just wants to connect before you leave, please catch me before you go. Because if you don't know where you stand with God, the last thing I want you to do is leave here like that. Don't leave here like that. Leave here knowing that if God was to call you home tonight, if by some tragedy you'd be involved in some kind of wreck on the way home, and it was to end your life, that you don't have to worry about that because you know the author and the creator of life. Amen. Pray that you all have a good night. Thank you for coming out tonight. Amen. Amen.